don't know if you realise, but in my last video, I didn't say hello. I don't know what came over me. I don't know why I didn't. But it just felt really weird watching it and like editing it back and not being like, hello at the beginning. So if you did notice that, you probably didn't. It's probably just me. But it just felt really weird. I don't know why. Hello and welcome to my channel. I am not reviewing a product in this video. How mad, I know. That seems to be all that I've been doing recently. I do love reviewing videos, but I thought I have not done just a standard makeup tutorial and it feels like forever. So I'm here creating this pink, purple, with a hint of green spotlight cut crease eye look. I know I can never make it short and punchy. <laughs> if you would like to see how I created this look, then make sure to keep on watching. <laughs> So I'm fresh faced, ready to start this makeup look. And it does feel weird that it's not a review video. So I can do whatever I want. I can use whatever palette. Come on, let's get into this. I'm first going to be putting a primer on my eyes and I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer like I normally do. Then I've got a damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to kind of push that into the skin. Then to set my eye primer, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush of Flawless Finish Powder in One Fair. I'm just going to put that over it just to set it. first shade I'm going to use is my favourite shade on the Urban Decay Electra palette. And it is the shade called Slow Burn. And it's this orangey corally colour. And I've got that on a fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that in to the crease and really blend it out. The fluffy brush that I'm using is actually the Primark one. Once I've done that with the same brush, I'm going to go in to Savvy which is that pinker shade in the Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm just going to go over the top and kind of bring it more central into the crease. I'm going to go into the purple shade in that palette called Jilted and I'm now using my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to put that more into the crease just so we're kind of getting that gradient in. Now I have a smaller more concentrated fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the darker purple and this one is called Urban and I'm going to put that right into the crease. It's more like a bluey purple. Next I'm going to be using this MAC shadow and it is in the shade Contrast and it's this like navy blue with like a purple undertone in it. We're just getting darker and darker and darker and I'm going to put that into the crease as well. I'm loving the colours of these so so much. I, oh, I just love doing really colourful looks. Now I'm going to cut the crease and I'm just using my concealer that I used earlier and I've got it on a small eyeshadow brush here and I'm just going to carve it out. When doing the cut crease I'm only going to do it in the centre because I want to keep that purple on the outer edge as well as the inner corner of the eye. Once I have got the shape that I wanted I just set the concealer with a really light nude almost white eyeshadow. Once I've done that I'm going to use the shade Thrash in the Urban Decay Electric Palette and I've got that on a really small packing brush and I'm just going to put that on the outer edges of the space we've just created with the concealer. Now I've done that, I'm gonna go back in with that really dark purple shade called Urban, and I'm just kind of going to make sure that that yellowy green shade that we put down blends nicely into the purple, and there's no harsh lines. Once I've done that, I have my Barry M Fixer Gel and a tiny little lip brush, and I'm just gonna put some of the gel in the middle where the white is. And then I'm going to put the Barry M pigment in, I think it's 107. It's a really white shimmer pigment. I'm just going to put that where I've put the glue. So I did use the gel to fix the pigment onto it, but it actually went really cakey. So I wiped it off and I've just used it with no gel and put it in the center just so it makes it glow that extra bit. And it has a bit of a reflex in it. Next, I'm going to use a much darker green shade that I used from the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. And I'm just putting that on the outer side of where we already have that green yellow colour. Just so it fades nicely into that darker 
purple okay i'm gonna stop playing with it because i will never stop so i'm gonna go and do my foundation and my eyebrows i already have a video on this so i'm not gonna include it in this video because it'll be way too long but if you want to see how i do it i'll have it come across the screen now and you can click on it and see how i do my foundation i'll see you in a minute i'm now going to carry on with the bottom half of my eyes we're going to kind of do the same steps as what we've done on the top lid just minus the cut crease so the pinks and purples we're going to basically do at the bottom and kind of merge them together at the side i've got my fluffy brush with the pink shade on and i'm going to go in with slow burn first and then savage after so now I've done the pink shades, I'm now going to go in with the purple shades. And the first one was called Jilted, and then we'll go darker, like we did on the top lid. Now I've done that, I'm going to put some black liner in my waterline. Now it's time for mascara. Whoa, throwing things around. The mascara I'm going to be using today is the YSL The Shock Mascara. And I've got this in a small travel size, but it's still a really good mascara now i'm going to put on some lashes and i'm going to be using the urban decay tricked out lashes because they're extra long and this is quite a bold look i am loving this look so much my dog is doing something crazy so for the lips i'm going to be using my lac my, my lac my mac lip pencil in the shade electra now I've done that, the lipstick I'm going to be using is the MAC Lip Intensity Lipstick in Driftwood. And we are finished with this look and I really really like it because I really love wearing pinks and purples on my eyes. I always always have. So the fact that it has this really subtle hint of green in there, it's really nice. So if you didn't want to wear a green all over the eye, then you can go for this look and you've got a little bit of green in there but it isn't a full bright bold green eye also if you haven't seen my last video i do feature a really a dark green in that so if you are going out for st paddy's day st patrick's day and you are going to be wearing green and want to include it in your makeup i currently have two looks on my channel featuring greens so make sure you go and check that one out as well please let me know if you liked this tutorial by pressing the like button down below also by leaving a comment what you like about this or what you would like to see on my channel in the future also if you haven't already please press the subscribe button because i make lots of beauty related videos some of them are reviews some of them are just normal makeup tutorials like this one thank you so so much for watching this video i will link everything i use in the description down below i will see you in my next video bye